Hey guys, this is Rogue Blades, and I'm bringing you a small little match on Grenade, where I play Assassin. It's, it's a pretty good match for me. But this isn't really a, a gameplay video or a commentary. It's not very long. Um, but I was talking to Econaut last night, and first I should just start off by saying that Uber has some pretty incredible customer service. Blizzard, as you all know, has pretty good customer service, or most people seem to think so. I've never had a problem with them. And so a lot of people think they're the best, but, you know, Uber Entertainment kind of took it to the next level because their guys, their developers, they're on Steam. You can add them as friends, you can have a chat with them. And, you know, I think that's pretty fantastic that any company, big or small, would be able to do something like that, you know. I think that's great. So I should just start out by saying thank you to the development team for being so accessible and friendly because that really helps to keep players interested in your game and keep the community strong by you guys being just cool people. So after that little meat ride, let's get right into it. A lot of people, especially who play Assassin, may have noticed that the, uh, the 2500 tags for assassinations and um, sword kills are OMFG for assassinations and ninja for sword kills. So I wasn't so sure if that was a a reference to the famous TF2 spy OMFG Ninja. Maybe some of you know him. I certainly know him. He was my inspiration when I started playing Spy in TF2. He was who I learned all my tricks from, and there's even some stuff I brought over from TF2 into this game that worked just as well that I learned from OMFG Ninja, you know, to begin with. So I wasn't so sure if that was a reference. Um, maybe I was incredibly late to the party and everyone's already talked about this, but I thought I'd make a little video anyway. Um, so I talked to Econaut last night and um, I asked him, you know, is this a reference? And he said, oh, I'm not sure, let me, uh, let me look for it. And then he got back to me and he said that it was probably uh, Scaphus, who, who was a big spy player in TF2, who actually did name it after OMFG Ninja. And I thought that that was pretty freaking awesome, that, that a game that they drew inspiration from would enshrine one of its players in their own game. I think that is really fantastic. And I even talked to OMFG Ninja, I put a little post on his YouTube channel, uh, you know, asking if he'd heard of this or if he knew that his name was in Monday Night Combat. And he said that no, this was news to him and he felt like a million dollars for it, so, uh, so I guess this is a little cross-communication between OMFG Ninja and the MNC development team. Uh, I guess he's very thankful. And I know that stumbling upon that certainly made my night. I mean, how cool is that just to see that they are that you know, understanding of another game community to put a, na a player's name in their game as the pro tags. So nothing but props to Uber's development team, especially Scapus, if that's who it was who did it. Um, but so now, I guess I have a little something to say to Mr. Omechi Ninja. So Ninja, if you uh, if you watch this video, I think it's about time that you uh, thank. Uh, the Uber development team for putting your name in this game by buying it and playing it a lot with people who are cool because this community is really fantastic and they would certainly benefit from your presence here, that's for sure. So I guess this is a bit of a call out to the famous, famous TF2 spy. Get this game, play it a lot, and you know, have a good time with it. Because the skill ceiling in this game is so high, and for someone with a lot of creativity, it definitely allows you to play in the way that you want. And I certainly feel like your play style has a lot of creativity in it, a lot of thinking that goes into it. And you would love this game. I'm just going to tell you right now, you would love this game. So, you know, I guess in closing, just remember that someone thought you were super duper special enough to put your name in their game. and. You know, you gotta have this, not just to, you know, pay them back, but to have a little bit of a trophy for yourself. Because how many gamers can claim their name in a game? I mean, seriously. But, until next time, this has been Rogueblades. Stay sneaky, everybody.